One more time. Very good. We've we've filled the last ping pong ball with gants and we've installed it. Bye. Okay, so we uh, still have the fan on high and oscillating, and the very same lamp that we were using all plugged in. Um, I am seeing this very quite a bit more than it was before. It I've seen it down to about 92.9 and up to 96 point something. Um, hi Tom. Uh, I don't know what the, the variation, what causes the variation, but uh, maybe that's a question that they can answer in the live teachings. That would be great. Um, thank you. Hold on, buddy. Yes, yes. So you can see the variation in it. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what's causing that, but uh, we've seen it up to 96 and down to about 92.9. Um, so hopefully it is nano coating and getting more. I apologize. More efficient, and so you can see, still oscillating. And the light is still on, obviously. Okay, and now the question portion of this video. Uh, Mr. Kesh, I have read on the forum that simply wrapping um, iron nails in a nanocoated wire and putting them in water rather than um, sea salt in water uh, is enough to make CH3 GANs. I was wondering if that is a more pure way or if it would be better to go ahead and use uh, the salt water. Also with these drying ones, um, I have put them through about four nano coating processes and they seem to car carry over the um, caustic salt with them for quite a while. Is it better to, to just do a couple and not have to wash them? I think I've washed these ones like five times now and hopefully it's all off now. So maybe it's better just to do a couple of the three nano coating processes. These ones, like I said, have been through many more than that. Um, is it better just to do a few? One comment, uh, this is tin with nano coated copper. I believe it's this one, yes. And it produces a lot of reddish gants. Uh, that's more of just a comment. It seems to produce quite a bit of gants, so, so maybe that's helpful to somebody. Tin seems to be up there on the periodic table of elements, so hopefully that'll be useful to someone else.